Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing great. So today is the 12th of May and uh, it, coincidentally today is also Nokia's birthday. So happy birthday Nokia. So Nokia was established in 1865 and it is also uh, the day where Android 13 developer preview is available for Nokia X20. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the latest My Device app in your phone. Just click on it. Go to the support banner here and click on the Android developer preview and wait for the magic to happen. So I'm just going to show you a live uh, update process. Just, so just click in the request update and continue. So what it does is it basically sends to the server that you would like to receive the Android 13 update. All right. And uh, for those of you who have only one main device to use, I would suggest not to do this at all for any reason, no matter how tempting it is. So um, once you uh, click for the request update, then just go to your system, go to your system update and press for check for update. And here you go, the Android 13 developer preview as again, multiple warning signs are there and this shows that the upgrade process uh, is about 1.73 GB in size and this is version 3.030 so I'm just going to click resume and let it download now again uh, to many of my viewers out there kindly do not try this uh, at any cost I don't think so it is worth doing it um, so I do hope that uh, my journey with this Android 13 developer preview goes smoothly and uh, all the best to myself. So the update has been downloaded. Again, a word of caution, a lot of issues can happen from this point onward. So let's hope for the best and Start it. So do know that uh, when you are upgrading to this developer preview, it will clean wipe whatever memory that is in your phone. It'll erase every memory, every data that you have saved. So kindly do a backup first or transfer your files to somewhere that you have access to. And now it is rebooting. I'm hoping for it to be smooth. So let's hope for a good birthday today. So the Android logo, so this is a generic or something new, a new logo. So you can see how the Android light is breathing in and out. So this is a nice touch. Reminds me of the Nokia N9 boot up. I'm going to skip all this. I'm going to just go on setup offline because I don't want it to go into any loop at the moment. Set. I'm going to skip on this. Skip on everything. So here it goes the Android 13 developer preview. You can see the changes in the icons, they are square compared to the ones on Android 12. So, all right. Uh, definitely fast. Uh, that is something that I noticed uh, immediately. All right, so I'm just going to show you uh, this. Settings, system. This is Android version 13. 
April 5, 2022. So the security update is the uh, one on April uh, 5th, so quite a recent one. Now, um, just going to sh briefly go scroll through to see if there's any new apps. So as you can see, it has wiped clean the device. There are uh, no apps that uh, is included with it. No third party apps. So this is just base Android. So this is the camera app. As you can see, this is how the control is. So this is something new. I don't think that this is the um, this is the final app or this is how the interface will look like. This is probably just a generic camera app for the Android 13 build. So a couple of things, 16 megapixels. So you can see all the different ratios that you can shoot in. Video still limited to HD 1080p. Front camera still the same, nothing much in terms of that. So you do have an advanced setting. So you have manual exposure. Okay, this is something uh, new, I suppose. So this is how you choose between cameras and videos. Uh, setting is here. Uh, right. Is there anything from this side? Nope. This side? Nope. This side? Nope. For some reason. Okay. So front facing camera is there all right so this is sort of like a generic camera build uh, not specific to the Nokia X20 I believe my first impression is that uh, as usual the upgrade is directly a smooth process um, but with that said it is still a risky update now uh, this is so-called the material design I believe and uh, in terms of the notification panel, some new color palettes is what I can see here. Let's see if there's any addition of anything new. So you have the extra dim here. Uh, what else is there? Color correction, location. All right. So these are pretty much similar to what it was with the Android 12. I'm just going to check if there's anything new in the settings in terms of display. You've got adaptive brightness, dark theme, night light. All right, pretty much the standard stock experience. Uh, safety and emergency. This is also something which is available with Android 12, I believe. In terms of system, nothing new. Uh, wallpapers. All right, just a generic standard uh, Android wallpapers. All right. So, yep. Pretty much, this is Android 13, uh, definitely smooth, definitely fast on the Snapdragon 480 processor. This is the Nokia X20 running on Android 13 developer preview version 3.03. .03. The upgrade process seems to be straightforward. Uh, there aren't any new exciting features as of yet, but this is definitely fast and definitely smooth. And as usual, as tempting as it is, do wait a couple of days before upgrading it yourself wait for any feedbacks or review from others uh, in the meantime i'll be writing an, my article on nokia power user site on how the upgrade is so till then do take care of yourself stay safe and i'll see you in the next one